Today I'm reviewing Still Alive, a review for a game that came out last year, but it's still alive, on a mediocre YouTube channel that's still alive, by a man who eats cup noodles daily, but I'm still alive. Still Alive is living on Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. A PvP battling, strategy shooting, equipment upgrading, free to play, multiplayer only, class based extravaganza. Choose between three classes, each with their own perks, and frantically blast other players. The controls are surprisingly manageable. Aim, hold to charge, and shoot. Then use special perks to decimate your foes. Ah! Drop bombs, lay traps, and find other insane ways to embarrass people. Shooting enemies actually has a bit of strategy to it. While charging, you'll slow down in movement, allowing you to aim, as well as allowing other players to get a shot in as well. It makes for an online battle system that involves thinking, as opposed to just running and gunning. Each match is basically a free-for-all and comes down to a last player alive scenario. Oh, I get it. You have to be still alive to win. Then join a clan, take on team matches, level up, upgrade, customize, unlock skins, and continue on in a PvP game that burned at my gaming addiction. PvP-only games aren't usually my forte, but because of its strategic gameplay and its fun specials, I was completely entertained. Before I knew it, I had sunk time into my main character, worked on leveling him up, upgrading, and playing match after match just for the thrill of it. There isn't much more to this game besides these qualities, and that's okay. Having a multiplayer game that is to the point, while staying fun, is all a mobile gamer could ask for. The game may not be keeping me alive, but it is most definitely keeping me awake. Next up, graphics. A Wild Western Borderlands cartoon. The graphics have a cell shaded toony look that fits perfect into this game world. Character models are surprisingly detailed. It wasn't until longer play sessions that I realized the cool little extras on my characters. The environments are fine, however they do get repetitive and bland. Extra attention was definitely applied to the models. Also the effects on weapons and traps look cool, as well as characters extravagant animations. Menus are fluid and clean, and the total package feels polished. More mobile games are going for this cell shaded look, and I've started to become a fan of it. Finally, free playability. Cosmetics, consumables, and more. This free playability is actually pretty fair. By using its premium cash, you can obtain new outfits and accessories. You gain enough coins for upgrading, though late game does make it harder to upgrade with its crazy amount of coins. Also, special consumables can be earned or purchased as well. Altogether, it's a fair enough system. I think monetization in the form of customizability is the best way for mobile games to go, and I hope to see this trend continue. My only complaint, why do I have to pay for a female character? They must know I really like playing as female characters. A small negative for a game that otherwise lets you play without the pay. Now is this game a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? Still alive, shoots, bombs, and survives its way in as a download it. Yeah! Still playing. The gameplay is PvP fun, the graphics are cell shaded frames, and the free playability allows for multiple matches. As a mobile gamer who doesn't necessarily prefer PvP only games, my hopes for this weren't very high. However, thanks to a strategic combat, its pleasant graphics, and its lenient monetization, I may be rethinking my approach to the PvP formula. The more I played, the more hooked I became. Winning, leveling up, and replaying may be all it has to offer, but it's the fun factor that kept me engaged. And the adrenaline of being the last man alive is rewarding. So if you ever wanted to battle in a free-for-all against Borderlands Rejects, then go for it. Or if the thrill of a strategic PvP shock fest sounds like a blasting good time, then definitely download this game. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more reviews, and ring that notification bell for video updates. It's time for me to jump back into battle, earn more coins, and purchase a cup noodle hat.